All right, here we go. Question number 17 from our college algebra, homework number seven in my lab math. They give us a system of linear equations. They want us to use Kramer's rule to solve. And if we read the instructions carefully, it says write the fractions using Kramer's rule in the form of determinants. So when we fill in these answer boxes, they're going to need to be in the form of determinants, okay? So let's talk about what Kramer's rule says. Notice here it wants a fraction. So up here in this box, I'm going to uh, describe what that is. x is d sub x over d, okay? That's the fraction for Kramer's rule in order to solve for x. And y is d sub y over d. And so we're going to have to find three determinants, d sub x, d sub y, and d, in order to solve this problem. All right, so let's erase all of that junk. And let's talk about the fact that these equations up here are not in the right format to set up our determinants, right? Because these equations should be x, y equals a constant. In other words, all the variables on the left, all the numbers on the right. So we're going to have to start by moving the 3y over in the first equation and the negative 4y over in the second equation. And that's going to give me 5x. That'll become minus 3y equals 4. And the second equation will be 4x. That'll be plus 4y equals 16. And so now that we have our equations in the right format, we can now find our determinants. And let's start with regular d, which is the determinant of the coefficients, okay? So regular, and I call it regular d. There may be another name, I don't know. I just call it regular d. And this is 5, 4, negative 3, 4, in a previous problem, we talked about how to find the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. I'm going to demonstrate the FISH method again. So that's going to be 5 times 4 minus negative 3 times 4. And here we have two negatives. Make it a plus. 20 and 12, that's 32, and that's regular D. Now we can find d sub x. And what d sub x says, d sub x says, hey, let's take regular d and replace the x's with the constants. Okay? So in place of 5 and 4, we're now going to have 4 and 16. And the y's get to stay the same. And then we're going to do the fish technique again. Coming around, bam, 4 times 4 is 16, minus negative 3 times 16 is negative 48. Two negatives make a plus. 16 and 48, what does that add up to? I'm going to have to use my calculator for that. 16 plus 48, 64 d sub x, and now d sub y, and just like d sub x said to replace the x's with the constants, d sub y says now we're going to replace the y's with the constants, okay? So now the 5 and the 4 from regular d, they get to stay, the 5 and the 4 stay, and the 4 and the 16, the constants, take the place of the y coefficients. And one more time with the fish method, 5 times 16, what is that, 80? Minus, 4 times 4 is 16, 80 minus 16, 64.
Hmm, what a coincidence. Did you see that? D sub X and D sub Y are the same. That's not always true. This is a special case where they happen to be the same, okay? And so now we can actually find the answer to the whole problem. But before I do that, I'm going to go back over here to my lab math before I forget what I'm doing. Remember, this needed the Kramer's rule set up in the form of determinants. So we're going to click this button here for a determinant, and it's going to be 2 by 2. So we click OK, and the numerator is d sub x. So let's go back and look at our d sub x. That was 4, negative 3, uh, 16, and 4. That was our d sub x. In the denominator, again, we have a determinant, 2 by 2. And the denominator is regular d, which is 5 and 4, negative 3 and 4. Man, this is tedious having to type all this stuff in. But that's what it wants. Okay, next in the numerator for y, this is d sub y. And so if we scroll back up and look at d sub y, that's going to be 5 and 4 and 4 and 16 over regular D and I can take regular D and just copy and paste here 5 negative 3 4 and 4 and that's what they want here in the form of determinants Setting that up. Okay, so now they want the solution set, and notice it says type an ordered pair. And so what they really want here, if I click on the ordered pair tool, they want the X comma Y ordered pair solution. So back over here in our notes, we know that X, which is D sub X over D, and we calculated D sub X to be 64, and we calculated regular D to be 32. And 64 divided by 32, that's 2. And then to find Y, that's D sub Y over D, which remember D sub Y was the same as D sub X. And so these are actually going to be the same value. So our ordered pair is going to be 2 comma 2. Check. Now, you know what I'm going to do, though, before I check that answer? <laughs> I'm going to come over here to Desmos, which I haven't used in a while, and I'm going to check with Desmos, okay? So let's put in our equations. 5x equals 3y plus 4. Notice I'm putting these into Desmos exactly the way they look in the original problem. And then 4x equals... 16 minus 4y. Now, if I did my determinant work correct, then this ordered pair solution should, should be the point of intersection, and it is. So the point of intersection of the uh, graph is the solution to the system. That's kind of nice to know. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.